Hello and welcome to Below Average Gaming. I'm your host, the Below Average Gamer, and today we are again in Minecraft. Hello, miners, to be exact. If you want to play on the server, say hi to me, drop me a letter, get to know all the people who play on here, like M1 Rebella, who says, oops, so's. Um, yeah, just go ahead and join it, play.hellominers.com. Or, actually, here's a better thing. I don't show this a lot in the videos, but this could actually help you a ton more. If you want to head over to hellominers.com, you can actually see how to join up, join the server, sign up, all that good stuff, and you can see the news going on in our server. It's really good, really awesome, helps you kind of get in depth of what's going on. A little bit of it's going to be confusing if you are joining for the first time. Like if I were to click one of these warp end portal, you probably have no idea what that means, but let's go ahead and open that just to see. Sorry, my computer's being kind of slow just because I have a thousand things running right now. But yeah, so here, um, ba ba ba. BU1LDM4N says, please add warp end portal. I'm tired of warping to C, then running to SFC, then going to the nether, then running to the portal, then finally going to the end portal. I'm pretty sure a lot of people think of this also, so please add this. And then uh, JMan909 comments, I actually wouldn't mind this being a warp, but it probably won't be done. So it's really good because it uh, allows us to communicate with one another what we think. Uh, we do that in game already, but this kind of gives us a little bit more free play. It gives us a little bit more to talk about because people will actually come on here comment more often. I haven't seen Mr. Blorb in a long time. Um, oh wow, this is from August 26th. That's probably why. This isn't new. This is old. Who's doing this? Ryan? Ryan, you stop this. JK, Ryan's actually a really good friend of mine on the server. But yeah, so let's go ahead and hop right back into the server because I'm sure you want nothing to do with what's happening right now. So let's go ahead and hop back here. Gotta close that window. I really don't want to be dealing with that the whole time. But yeah, today I'm going to actually be talking about stuff for when joining the server. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just had a bunch of coffee because it's really early in the morning here. And I was like, I don't want my voice being all like, hey guys, how's it going? So I was like, I'm going to have a cup of coffee to fix my throat. And I did that. And now my breath smells terrible. So if you hear me dying, just know it's the fumes from my own mouth that killed me. Yeah. Um, fun fact, uh, me and my wife actually... Um, she has really good insurance. I do not. So if she dies, I get like a ton of money. And if I die, she may actually owe the bank money because I'm so bad with finances. But that's another helpful tip for you guys. Um, decide in your relationship who is better with money and just give it all to them. Do not question it. Do not. I know it's weird. I know you're like, but it's my money. I understand. But if you're not great with finances, it being your money isn't going to matter because you're not going to have that money for very long. So as you can see, I have a ton of emeralds uh, today. Um, thank you to, I want to make sure I get his name right, ElectroHorse28. So ElectroHorse28, thank you so much for all these emeralds. Um, I wish I could say they were donated, but I actually bought them from him. So yeah, I have all these emeralds, and I'm going to be turning these into uh, enchanted books so that I can make some serious money. Super excited. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and just get started on that. I have this mending one. And I'm going to start doing that. And while I'm doing this, I'm just going to let you guys know um, stuff not to do when you first start the server. Because I feel like everyone, when they first join, has the same issues. They always join and they ask the same, like, 20 questions. And it just gets on everyone's nerves who's already playing. And I understand. You're just trying to learn the server. There, I have nothing against you. Uh, Zine, the world is against you. <laughs> no, don't pay that. I have nothing against you. <clears throat> Pardon. Um, but, yeah, nothing against you. I just I know that you're learning the server. And I'm happy for you. I'm really glad that you're actually learning the server, taking time to become a productive member of this server. But being new comes with a lot of issues, um, I should say, that arise. I hear that mending is really good, so I'm going to get a ton of mending, because I know a lot of people want that. That's as much as I'm willing to get right now. But um, yeah, so ooh, he also has fortune, doesn't he? But... What was I saying? Yeah, so just make sure when you come on, watch this video, it'll help you out a lot. And if you're someone who's on the server, and you constantly see people, like, breaking these taboos, and um, just going and being like, oh, hey, um, why can't I get to wilderness? And just asking these questions that to you are dumb, but to them, they're trying to learn. So if you see people doing that, just help them out. Point them towards this video. Keep it in your uh, paste thing, paste bar or in a notepad somewhere so that you can just be like, oh, here are some questions that you do not want to ask on the server because people will get pissed off. So yeah, number one, first thing first, I want to say number one thing not to ask on the server is um, pretty much, this is a hard one to explain. Uh, you have to kind of be on the server to understand it. 
but I hope that when I say these, everyone on the server is like, yes, yes, queen, this is perfect. Do not say that. So, one of the first things that people do when they get on the server is they say, um, this is a roleplay server. Who wants to be my husband? Who wants to be my wife? Who wants to be my sister? Yada, yada, yada. The thing is, this is an economy roleplay server. It's not really a roleplay server in the tense um, that you're thinking, where you're like, oh, cool, I'm going to get on, I'm going to have a family. Yeah, yeah. Who wants to be the dog? Do, do, do. Adam. Uh. But, you know, it, it, it gets annoying. Especially with the fact that this is, like I said, this is an economy roleplay server. This is a server where people get on because they want to um, play economy. They don't care about house, and they don't care about <coughs> excuse me. They don't care about um, playing house or having a wife and kids and whatnot on the server. They want to build an economy. This is about business. This is about it's a video game. It's like a children's video game. But um, this is about like you know starting a business, trying to figure out how that stuff works. Oh, I've already traded all of you. Trying to figure out like how these businesses work and things like that. So <laughs> if you get on trying to assume that this is going to be a roleplay server where you're going to have a wife and kids and all that good stuff, just put that aside. This is not the server for you. I'm so sorry. I wish you could play on the server with us, but if you're getting on solely for that, not the place for you. And um, there are other places for it. I'm not saying that you can't play. I'm just saying if you're getting on solely with the intent of that, it's going to be really hard. We have some people who do it. They do it successfully. Um... It's just, like I said, it's going to be very hard because that's not what this server is made for. You're going to have to fight a lot to get to that point. Because we have some people who do it and some people who are like, yeah, you know, uh, this person's my wife, this person's my so-and-so. We actually had the issue come up in the server um, a couple days ago, I think, that someone, like a bunch of people got banned for doing that because they were stealing other people's names. You can't have, one of the rules in the server is you can't have names similar to other players because that just causes issues, obviously. Like, one of our admins' name is uh, Commando Beta. And I think, I know this happened, I might be getting the names wrong, but someone became like, they made their name like Commando Betas, or like Commando Beetles or something, <clears throat> just because they wanted to be very similar to Commando Beta. And um, they didn't get, I don't think they got banned, but I think they were just told that they had to change their name. Because, you know, it's a thing. You can't have someone wandering around being like, oh, hey, um, so-and-so and so-and-so. Did I just make the wrong one? Okay, good. And it just being a mess. You know, because you're you, you're assuming that someone's in charge of the server and they're not, it can become an issue, like a, like a serious issue. So don't do it. It's just a problem. It's it's pretty self-explanatory. The fact that I'm having to tell you this right now is it's pretty self-explanatory. This isn't an issue that we should have popping up as often as it does. Um, but it does pop up. How the heck? What do you want? What do you want from me? <sighs> okay, I'll give you four. So that I can get another thing later. Have your privacy so you can reset that. I can always use more books. So, whatever. But yeah, don't do that. Don't come on the server and be like, I'm here for my family and I'm here for this and so and so. Um, yeah, and the issue was, and I'll just say it out loud. The issue was, um, there was a, a player named Jenica. And people changed their names to Jenica's Child. Jenica's Instagram. Jenica's Twitter. I don't, I don't know what they all were. Because I don't pay attention to, to dumb stuff. And if you were a part of that, I'm sorry for calling it dumb. But... It's just a, a specific thing for me that I hate when people come on and they're like, oh yeah, family and whatnot. So that's the first thing, you know, don't, don't come on assuming that that, because you're going to ask if, if you can not do that, we just removed like 30 questions that you can ask where you're like, who wants to be my, my kid? Who wants to be my dad? Who wants to be my so-and-so? We just fixed so many problems at once. Fortune. 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 And I'm in RC right now, so it's just a nightmare. Ah, shoot. Because there's so many picture frames and people all over the place that it's just a nightmare. Looting 2. The fact that I'm opening these and they're empty is good. Because I don't want to restock stuff that people aren't buying. So anyway. I feel like looting is really popular, so I make a lot of looting. Because I use looting a lot, so I feel like it should be super popular. Mending is the new thing that everyone's doing. So, cause it, just because it's a new enchant, and I hear that's really useful. I don't use it, but, you know. And Silk Touch. It's it's useful in in small bursts. Luck of the Sea, I think I can get rid of. I, I think that I, if I, I think I have luck, in, luck of the Sea in there, and it's been the same one for a long time. So I'm going to replace that with Mending. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's see, I bought these for 16. I can sell for 200. Make a little bit of a profit on there. I'm not a bad guy. I'm like, you know, I'm not trying to steal from you. 
403 and P. Boom, 403 and, uh, and P. One by for 200. There we go. And that is Mending Book. And I'm going to move some more over here because I have a ton of them. Not a ton, I think I have like two more. We just destroy the economy by having the cheapest books. But yeah, that's number one. Number two thing of asking is people get on here and uh, <clears throat> I have to give some explanation for a lot of this stuff. People get on here, dying, and they uh, they say, they kind of figure it out. They say, oh, okay, so this isn't a role placer. This is about business. Awesome. I want to start a business. It, the thing with that is it's difficult to just hop in and start a business because you have to have people who are willing to follow you. You have to have become liked you know if you that's one of the things that a lot of people don't understand if you're not a liked player people aren't gonna like your business you have to be, be kind of establish yourself in the server where am I going you have to establish yourself in the server as a uh, reputable source if I can say that so gotta be careful with that because a lot of people they get on and here's here's the big thing that they do that messes them up is they get on and they say hey I need donations who wants to donate to my business and you're gonna get a lot of questions when you do that. People are gonna ask you, well, how much money do you have putting towards it? And you're gonna say none. And no one wants to donate to a cause that is starting at zero. Because then you're not putting any effort in. You know, you have to put effort in to your projects. You can't just go in and say, oh, awesome, hey, who wants to, um, let me go to my other house, actually. Uh, uh, who wants to give me free money so I can make more money? And uh, my thing is that I tell people is, you know, what are you giving me for donating? You know, and I know donation is free, but usually you'll do something. Like one of the things that I did when I had a city um, was, and when I was starting a city, was I said, you know, if you donate to me five hundred dollars or so, you'll get a street named after you. Easy, you know, that doesn't cost you anything. In when you're making a city, you already you have to already have a city, but that doesn't cost you anything when you're making a city. You know, oh, I have more paper. I'm an idiot. I'm gonna move all that up here. Actually, I'm gonna put that right there. Skadoosh, there we go. That doesn't cost you anything. Um, and you can even go further. You just have to like, think about it a little bit more. And uh, what I did was I said, you know, it's uh, it's 250 to have a street named after you, so it'll be so-and-so street, so it'll be the Sterninator Street. Um, or 500 to have Avenue, 750 for a boulevard. So people were willing to pay more money just to have the signal that they have money, that they paid more money. So there was that. That was a pretty easy way to make money. But... There's a lot of ways to make money. If you don't know how, just look at some of my more recent videos because I've been doing some on how to make money, how to make serious, like, cash quick. You know, you can work with real estate. You can work with villagers. You can do all sorts of stuff. You know, you can shear sheep. Go down and get the dumb jobs so that you can have money to get the good jobs. That's all I'm saying. Because, you know, it, it's a pain. It is a pain having to do all that stuff. But it's a lot better than having people hate you in the server because you're saying, hey, I'm going to start this business. Give me money. Well, what's your business? Oh, I don't know. Well, how much do you need? Oh, I don't know. Well, what am I going to get for it? I don't know. And you have to think about it. I had a conversation with someone on the server. On, I think it was on forums, actually, a couple weeks ago where they were saying the same thing. They said, donate money to me. And I asked them, I said, well, what do I get for donating? And they said, um, nothing. And I said, well, you, I kind of gave them a little lesson on it. I'm like, well, you can't really just expect people to give you money for no reason. No one's going to do that. And he said, okay, well, I'll give them like a 10% off on my store when I open it. And I said, okay, so you're opening a store. That's good, because you, you have a plan for what you're going to do with that money. So you're going to open a store. And I said, yeah, I'm going to open a store. I'll give you 10% off. I said, okay, so the problem here is um, you're charging me. <laughs> you're, 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 you're charging me to give you money. And he said, what do you mean? I said, well, I'm give, say I give you $1,000 and I get 10% off a purchase at your store. Now, all I have is an incentive to pay more money. You know, I'm not getting anything out of this because all that I'm getting is the opportunity to pay more money to you, which I don't really want. You know, I'm not, I'm not paying you money so that I can lose money. I'm paying you money. I'm not going to pay you money so that I can lose money. I'm going to pay you money because I think I can get something out of it, which in my opinion, I think is like the only reason that anyone's going to pay you. No one's going to just give you money to give you money. That's that the server doesn't really run on donations that way. So that's just my second thing, you know. Don't come on and immediately start begging for money. Get a dumb job, you know. That's my other thing. That's my third thing, actually. My third thing is get a dumb job. Because a lot of people get on here 
and their first thought is, yeah, I want to have a big business, and they don't have money. So you're either going to beg for money, or you're going to say, I need a job, which is good. Ask for a job. In fact, go on the forums and say, hey, I need a job. I'm good at so-and-so, 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 and so-and-so. You know, I'm, I'm a good builder, I'm good at interior designs, whatever. I'm not good at any of those things. So I would hire you because I'm looking for interior designers. So I would hire you if you put stuff that you're good at. And then you'd get money. That's how business works. Oops. Sorry, I got too in-depth in what I was saying and I fell. Um, yeah, do that. Get a dumb job. But a lot of times what happens is people get on the server, they say, Hey, I desperately need money. I don't have any money. Can anyone give me a job? And they, someone says... Yeah, I need a sheep. I need a sheep shearer, and they say uh, new players will say, "Oh, I don't want to do that." <laughs> you don't beg for a job. Beggar, there's a phrase: um, "Beggars can't be choosers." Don't beg for a job, and then once you get one, say, "Oh, I don't want to do that." You know, the best thing to do, like I said, is go on the forums and say, "Hey, I need a job. Here's some stuff that I'm good at." So, yeah, pretty easy. That way people come on and they say, oh, you're good at these things? I actually need someone to do this for me. Awesome possum. Guess who just got a job? You did. But yeah, don't get on the server and just start screaming, I need a job, I need a job, I need a job, and then get picky about what job you want. If you're, if you're that desperate for money, there's no reason for you to be begging for specific jobs. Oh, I need a job, I just don't want that one. Oh, congrats to Kelly. You're back now. I'm actually going to go take care of this but um yeah don't beg for a job and then complain when you don't get one that you want that's my, my big thing so so far we have three things the first thing is you know understand that this is a role play economy server we're all about economy we're, we don't care about house family whatever which sounds like the most horrible thing you could say to someone i don't care about your family but that's the truth of the matter is on this server is that we're not about family we're about business and economy <coughs> you know that's why on our um on our main page, uh, I hit the wrong button, there we go. On our main page here, the first thing that it shows is how many people's, people are registered, how many major cities there are, um, the GDP, and homes for sale. The second thing it shows over here is who has the most money. Because we don't care about family. Not on this server, unfortunately. Um, and like I said, it sounds horrible saying I don't care about your family, but at the same time, you have to understand that that's what this server is all about. So there's that, um, that thing. Secondly, don't beg for money. <clears throat> Begging for money just causes people to make fun of you. And it causes uh, people to lose a lot of respect for you as a player. And you have to work your way up from there. Um, and then the third thing was, what was it again? The third thing was, uh, oh, the third thing was pretty much start at the bottom, you know. Get a dumb job. Don't go begging for jobs saying, oh, I, I want a job. I, I want a job. I want to build a mansion. Because that, that, those jobs don't come along very often just because a lot of people in the server like to build. It's freaking Minecraft. That's the second part of the name, craft. People like to build. People get on the game because they like to build. I mean, I may not be good at it, but I made this entire structure here. Looks pretty decent. I'm pretty happy with it. But yeah, people get on here because they want to build. So if you get on and say, hey, um, all I do is build, so give me a job. You're going to not get any you be, be prepared. I mean, that's fine. But be prepared to wait a long time for someone to come to you. So that's three things. What was the fourth thing? I had a, I had a thing for the fourth thing. What was, oh, don't troll. You know? Trolling causes... Pe trolling... I can put it this way. Um, trolling causes people to have a lot of lost respect in you. It's against the rules, too, I believe, in a certain extent. But it causes people to lose a lot of respect for you as a player. But at the same time, it causes certain players to have you pretty much on like their no-deal list. Like I can tell you, I have a couple players who are on my no-deal list, <clears throat> people that I choose not to do business with, just because solely they've wronged me in the past. They've tried to jip me. They've tried to, uh, you know, they've tried to troll me in different ways. This whole place here is, I've said it in other videos, is locked down, which means that you can't get in here. And I had players who um, tried to break in, tried to find ways in, and they succeeded. Before I got this place locked down, I just had the locked doors. <coughs> Excuse me, I have, I'm coughing today. I should have gotten water before I started. But um, I have these locked doors. I have all this stuff. I have three freaking doors over here just to get through. Boom, four doors. I have that just to get through on one side. Um, and I had a certain player breaking in. 
And uh, it, it just caused an issue to the point where I said, you know, you can't be doing that. And they would beg me every day to the point that they were spamming me, spamming my mail, spamming my messages saying, let me use your villager farm, let me use your villager farm, let me use your villager farm. They ended up building a giant villager farm, their own, right next to my city, back when my city was active. Um, and it was a pain. And I said, you know, I'm not doing business with you. And to this day, they contact me every now and then saying like, hey, are we friends? And I say, no, absolutely not. We're not friends because you tried to troll me because you tried to be a jerk. You know, there are players who've become like staff and mods and things like that. And even admin who, you know, back when they first started, wronged me in some way. And I said, I'm sorry, I just, I don't respect you. And it's a pain because I know Pete, you're hearing this. I'm being like, oh my gosh, there could be people on the server who are saying like, I don't respect you. Well, I don't know. My, pretty much my rule is you get one chance. You get one chance and then you're on my no fly list. Because uh, I, I used to work at a summer camp. I still do. I work at a summer camp every summer. It's not summer right now, so I'm not working there. But um, I work with like junior high kids who come from like foster families and who come from these places that really aren't great. And one of the things that they do is they try to push you. They try to see just how close they can get to breaking you to see how much that they can get away with. And so I've developed this mentality of you get one chance. If you try to push me and see how far you can get, you're not going to get very far. And I'm going to, I'm going to, you're, you're going to get screwed over. You know, I had a kid who this last year decided that he was in charge, that he wanted to be in charge of the cabin and uh, screw me. Right. Uh, he pretty much was going to another kid's cabin said, Hey, um, I'm going to do what I want. Started messing up all their stuff. And I came in, I told him, you know, you can't be doing that. How would you like it if someone messed with your stuff? And in typical uh, junior high fashion, he said, well, I don't care. You can do whatever you want. I don't have anything I care about. And I said, okay. I grabbed his water bottle, the one that he carried with him every day, the one that he woke up at midnight to go fill up every night because um, he loved that water bottle. And I chucked it into the woods in a section that he's not allowed to go to. And he got pissed off. He was like, why'd you do that? Why and so and so? And I told him, I said, you get one chance with me. You only get one chance. And people say on the several times, they go, man, Stern is pretty... Uh, stern and that's the deal you get one chance you know you wronged me once shame on you you won't wrong me again and i mean that kid ended up becoming friends by the end of the week but it, it became we became friends because he started to figure out like this is a guy not to mess with you're not going to see how far you can push me because i'm not going to be pushed and i'm just saying you know you run into people like that on the server who have been here for so long that they kind of understand the game. And if you're getting on just to see how far that you can push them, saying, I'm going to break into your structure, I'm going to put this thing next to your structure, hey, are we still friends? I'm going to tell you, absolutely not. No, we're not. And I think a lot of people on the server that feel the same way. Is that, you know, there's a breaking point, there's a point that you get to and you say, sorry, um, I don't care. I'm on here to play the game, to have fun by myself. If you're ruining my fun, then you don't, then you, then you don't get a part. You don't get to play. Not with me, at least. So, that's my other thing. Just don't troll. And yes, yeah, some people get on and they're like, Oh, I'm not breaking any rules. I'm not breaking any rules. Ha ha ha. And you may not be banned, but there's a lot of people who are going to just hate you. Who aren't going to want to do business with you. And that's going to become very difficult. Because usually the people who give you the one chance, like I do, and I'm not saying I'm successful, but I'm saying a lot of the people who do are successful players. Are players that, in all honesty, you don't want to mess with. You want to be on their side. Because later on, you're going to say, hey, I need endorsement. I need people to help me out with um, my project. And they're going to tell you straight up no. Because they don't like you. And that's the, the cold hard fact. is People are going to tell you no. And it's solely because they don't like you. So, there's that. I, I can't put that any, any clearer. Just don't be a jerk. Don't be a troll. Don't be out there trying to, to mess with people to see how far you can push them. You know? Be careful. I mean, people get on here, and when you're new, you get on here and you try to say, like, let's see just how much power I can get for myself. That's fine. I think anywhere you go, you try to decide just how much power you can get for yourself, just how how, how far you can get. No one wants to start at, at square one. No one wants to... Oh, I must find a shop where sell silk touch. I see it on earlier, maybe. Oh, let me get this guy real quick. Let me help someone. Warp RC. I think someone else got him before I did. But, you know, that's, that's all I'm saying. Is everyone, no one wants to start on square one. Everyone wants to get on the server and immediately be boss level. 
and you know you're gonna you're gonna go and you're gonna fight and see just how far you can push to get that. I'm gonna try to steal this guy's business right now because I'm an asshole. Where did they go? Did they just vanish? Jesus! Oh, I think I sell my silk touch for 150, or even 100. I think it's 100 actually. Let's see where they went. Oh my gosh! Did they go all the way up? Oh my goodness! What is this place? But yeah. I mean, that's a lesson for the game. It's a lesson in life, too. Like I said, no one wants to start on square one. Everyone wants to get on and immediately be, be, be boss level. And they try to steal power where they can. Uh, don't. Do not do that. That's how you make people hate you. So that's my other thing, you know. Don't be a troll. Do not be a troll. Do not be a jerk. Try to be nice to everyone. Yeah. I can tell you, I... There are certain players that I'm, like, not close with, but... I feel like I like we're okay, and it's because I haven't wronged them. I haven't done anything to be an asshole to them. And they're powerful players. And I got on, I said, I don't want to be an asshole to a powerful player who I might need later. I'm not being manipulative. I'm just deciding who I might need and who I might not, and saying I'm not going to be an asshole to that. Does he have a shop in here? This is, he's not showing silk touch, he's just saying this is my house. What the heck is happening? Oop, going all the way down. Oh my gosh, she just dropped. Here I go too. Oh, I hope there's water. Oh my gosh, I am alive. What just happened? Whatever, this is confusing. I'm leaving this thing right away. Yeah. But, it, you know, that's the. I think that's the biggest piece of advice I can give you. Is, is that one. Is just, you know, understand. And I think that this goes with everything, with all the other rules there. Understand that when you join the server, you're going to be the lowest of the low. You're going to be with 1,000 F. And, you know, that, that, that sucks. But work, you know? Find work. Do the work. Don't beg for money. Don't be an asshole to people. Understand that you're going to start at square one. And that's the game. Learn it. Don't come on saying, ah, I know what to do. We're fine. Get on the server. Say, I'm going to sit, sit up and say, I'm going to learn. I can tell you this. I got on here. I started about three weeks before I actually understood, like, oh, I have to find a job and make money. Let me show you. Let me show you exactly how this happened. Exactly how I started. I started and I found out about warps. And I found out, like, oh, I can warp to wherever I want. Cool. I warped to Valley City. This was the first place that I ever came to. I'm dying. I'm going to die right now. Do I not have food? Oh, my goodness. I need to find food. And I wandered around. I wandered around. I wandered through these shops. And I was like, oh, my gosh. I'm dying of, I need food. So I came in here and I was like, oh my gosh, does any of these places, 12.5, Jesus Christ. Um, do any of these places sell food? I need to find food. Yada, yada, yada. Whatever. I'm going to go get food from my shop, my place. This is locked, so I don't even think about coming in here and trying to steal from me. I swear to God, I'll kill you. One of these has food. Oh yes, pumpkin pie, my favorite. Okay, that's good enough. Put that back. I'll save the rest for later. You delicious piece of pie. Okay. So we come back up here. And um, back to story. I was wandering around. Wandering around, wandering around, wandering around. And I ended up asking uh, the same question everyone asks. Again, this is pretty easy. So you're going to ask uh, this too when you start. Sorry. How do I get to the wild? Well, just warp anywhere. Like we warp to VC. Pick a direction. Walk that direction. Oh my gosh, look, it's the wild out here. I just walked for like half a second, and I'm already in the wild. Well, it's a little bit further now. When I started, this was all wild, like as soon as you left the city. But yeah, so just walk out and find it. So this is the wild. We're already in the wild. That's another dumb question that I helped you avoid right now on accident. When you come on and you say, hey, how do I get to wild? Just walk. Not everything is as easy as a warp. Sometimes you got to work for it. This is glass. Can't jump through glass. But yeah, see that big gray and red building there? That's my first building ever. I raised enough. Look, here's what I did. 
I had some money, I made this first story here. And we got some spot in the wild, I made some extra money, whatever. Got this first little spot here. And I was like, how do I make a shop? And I couldn't make a shop. And I was like, oh shoot. And they were like, you can make an apartment. So I made apartments. I got some more money. And uh, I made an apartment building up here. So look it. I made this apartment. And I sold it to someone. Next up. Made another apartment. Sold it to someone. Made another apartment. Sold it to someone. Made another apartment. Sold it. Kept on going up. Kept on going up. People were like, oh, you need to make your apartments a little bit bigger. I took the criticism. You take the criticism of people saying, oh, you should make your apartments a little bit bigger. So what did I do? Is this the first one? Yeah. I made the apartment bigger. Awesome. I made more money off of that. What else? I made this. I made another apartment. Made this one bigger. Awesome. So I rented out all these apartments and now I had money. What did I do with that money? Well, I became an idiot. I just became a big dumb stupid idiot and I said uh because that's what happens when you're new when you first start here's my first house where I used to live my first thing ever living was here over here I had chickens over here I had pumpkins or whatever over here I grew food so I wouldn't die of hunger in fact I'm gonna harvest this food right now I want that I'm gonna replant these seeds just for nostalgia oh my gosh no okay just for nostalgia's sake do I have stuff in my chest? I don't have any chests over here, do I? And I was like, oh, cool. I'm going to make more wheat farms. I don't need any of these seeds. I was like, I need to make a sheep farm. So I made this a big sheep farm. This was a sheep farm. I put sheep in there. Got more money. I eventually got enough money to make this. This was the first ever Sternville. Look at that. I made all these buildings because I didn't understand how cities worked. So I made all these buildings. Here's a bank. Here's farm supply. I think I think that's what it was. I think that's what F stands for. Made a little apartment building. Made whatever this is. Made this giant building. Because I was like, I've never made a giant building before, so I'll make a big one. That's as big as I think I was able to build at that time. I had people come in who were helping me with stuff, and they griefed up this entire place. They griefed everything. They're stern towers. That's more apartments. More apartments. More apartments. And I sold all these apartments. And I made money. You know why? Because when you're new, you do stupid stuff. And that's perfectly fine. I built this thing in the friggin' snow. Because I'm an idiot. And when you're new, that's okay. That's good. I used the money from selling those apartments to buy other plots in North Bay. Became friends with the North Bay guy. Remember I said don't be asshole to people? I became friends with the owner of North Bay. And when he got banned, he said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and give this land to Stern. So I got an entire city for free. Why? Because I followed my own advice, and I wasn't an asshole. And I said, hey, I want to help with your city. You got any dumb jobs? Just give them to me. And he gave me all the dumb jobs. And then he was like, hey, man, you did all the dumb jobs, and you weren't an asshole, so you're going to get this city free. And I was like, awesome, this is great. Follow my, own, follow my advice. Seriously, it's great. When you get on the server, just immediately decide, understand that you are the lowest of the low, that you are the lowest totem on the pole and work at it. Work on becoming the tip of the top. And someday you will be the tip of the top. It'll be great and we'll be friends. And if, if you join the server because of me, let me know. I get people all the time on here who say, hey, I saw your video and decided I wanted to join the server. And then they become successful. Um, I have a friend on here, Blue Shell, who all, I hang out with all the time. Good guy. He told me, you know, I joined, or not Blue Shell, sorry, Blue Shadow. He joined and um, I used to call him Blue Shell because I didn't read his entire name, but he's Blue Shadow. What is this? Rest in peace. What the heck? People begging. See? Begging. Bad. Um, and I hang out with him all the time, and I'm like, hey, dude, how's it going? What's up? Because he joined because of me, and he told me that. I have other people who I see all the time, and they're like, hey, man, I saw your videos, and you decided to join. So if you see these videos, and you're like, that looks like fun. I think I kind of figured it out. I'm not going to be an asshole. I'm going to join and just start working hard. Then do it. It'll be fun. It'll be awesome. Like I said, we'll be friends. I'll help you out. Unless you're an asshole, then I'm not going to help you out. But yeah, do that. It'll be awesome. Hey, and if you like this video, like this video so that I know you like this video. And if you feel so inclined, I'm going to kill the heck out of this rabbit. And if you feel so inclined, um, comment. I love getting on YouTube and seeing, oh my gosh, yes. I love getting on YouTube and seeing uh, comments that people are watching the videos. And not only watching the videos, but wanting to take part in what's going on with the videos. Because that's what the comments say to me. It's not only do you, did you watch the video, but you have an opinion on the video. So I love that. Do that. I'm getting really off track from what I was doing in the first place. But yeah. Do that. Like the video. 
comment on the video. And if you feel so inclined, if you're like, this was awesome, I'm going to join the Hello Miner server. I want to learn how to make money. I want to learn how to do all sorts of cool and crazy. Oh my gosh, what's happening? I want to learn to do all sorts of cool and crazy stuff and be an asset to the community. Then go ahead and subscribe so that you can learn more and be a kooky, crazy human being like I am. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. You're the best. And uh, bye. One more thing, shout out to Mr. DJ Panda. Um, I saw him on the server and uh, he asked me if I would give him a shout out. And I did. I'm doing it right now. So here's a shout out to you. If you want a shout out, just let me know on server. I don't charge. I don't do nothing. In fact, uh, yeah, do that. In the server, say, hey, I want to be a uh, shout out in your next video. I'll just be like, oh yeah, just like and subscribe. And then we'll be good to go. Because we're friends. And I appreciate you, like I said before. So thanks for watching. Bye.